Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to ICBM. It all started with Cuba. The Cubans decided to have a few missile vehicles installed on their little island, and, well, that was very much in range of the US, and I was not going to let that slide. So when I sent in a couple of destroyers in the first episode of this series, I was able to take out the missile vehicles, but the Russians didn't take kindly to that. They decided to start launching nuclear attacks. I have lost a bit of my population, some of my larger cities have taken a hit. Overall, we're not doing too poorly, and we are currently allied with non-communist countries. The non-communists, I believe, are over here, on the west of South America. Um, we also have India as our ally, and I believe that these... Where were you? Baghdad? Here. These guys are also part of that group. Now, they too have taken a bit of a hit, but it wasn't that bad. I'm sharing technology with them, and I'm working my way up to newer tech, starting for, um, particularly with cruise missiles, because I want the range of these cruisers to be even better. The cruisers have been able to take out a lot of the SAM sites um, and some missile vehicles over here. The next phase of the operation is going to be building an airbase, dropping a couple of 10 megaton bombs and actually doing some damage against the Russians. Because so Research far we complete. have been on the receiving end, and that stops now. We are going to actually dish it out. I have a couple of uh, sensor assets over here in the form of an AWACS helicopter, if you want to call it that. And I have a cruiser patrolling here, making sure that anything that gets spawned in here gets hit by the cruiser over there. And anything that gets hit in the or anything that gets built in the north is going to get hit by the cruiser over there. Aside from that, I still have uh, one lonely submarine over here. I could have that one do a patrol here. Come to think of it, they did have some assets over there that took out a destroyer or two and a cruiser. So I'm not really capable of deploying much over there. I have a radar site over here in Iceland telling me what's what. And I have an AWACS aircraft over the North Pole in case the Russians decide to send their bombers that way. I don't believe that they have upgraded their aircraft yet, but you never know. They could be working on that. I, for one, don't know what they're working on. All I know is that they keep flying a radar, uh, sorry, a satellite over my territory. So once the advanced long wave, sorry, the improved long wave radar is done, I'm going to make sure that I have ASATs and blow that satellite right out of the sky. Alright, I don't think there's too much happening, so let's go to four times speed. Enemy submarine. Hello. Research complete. Improved long wave radar. Okay, so now we can see these groups can almost cover the same area together. They can almost see the same thing. This one can see everything. That's really good. Now I'm kind of worried about this submarine here. It probably won't survive. Submarine sunk. Yeah, I lost a sub. Missile out against an enemy cruiser that was briefly detected, but long enough. And it's gone. Okay, well done cruiser. Let's see what else we can spot using that improved radar system that we now have. Hello, destroyer. Can you hit that? Cruiser. No, it's out of range. Okay, get over here. Enemy submarine not found at its last known location. Well, that's kind of how submarines work. They don't sit around waiting for you to find them. Unless I control them. In that case... There is a fair chance that I forget about them, don't put them on a patrol, and actually lose them. Speaking of losing, I have not been doing too well near Japan. I have an aircraft carrier group over here, but that is about it. Because the aircraft carrier group is relieving what's left of Japan. Uh, Tokyo got hit, but is still pretty much standing. Uh, the thing that they did destroy over here was, I think, a radar site or two, and on top of that, an airbase. So I'm a little bit behind, but I have every reason to start hitting back sooner rather than later. Radar site detected. Okay, once this airbase is complete, 
We'll take a couple of these things. And we'll show the Russians what's what. Let's speed this up as nothing's happening actively. Satellite just keeps flying overhead. There's nothing I can do about that until the anti-sat weapons come online. At that point, either this cruiser or that one will probably take it out. Air base? Oh. Okay. I'm going to need a cruiser here as well. Because those cruisers are fantastic at just wiping out whatever they spot. Or whatever gets spotted for them. So we're going to go over here and over there and just patrol this area. And just make sure they cannot deploy too much stuff here. I know that's only destroyers currently shooting at the SAM site. I hope it's enough for a bit. Alright. Uh, I'm going to park this one here. From where I have a pretty good range. And on top of that I'll have the defense of the aircraft carrier. Mobile SAM destroyed. Very good. First 10 megaton warhead being produced right now. And the B-1B Lancer is going to drop that thing off. If I hit Moscow with one, I get 183 points if I'm interpreting this correctly. There's the satellite again. Let's see, what are the biggest targets? Shanghai, 338 points. Good lord. That's valuable. Cuba? Nah, not really. Okay, so it's going to be Moscow first. Oh, hello. So you got an airbase there somewhere, huh? Radar, satellites... Okay. Is that first nuke ready? Yes, it is. Hey, Moscow. Catch. Uh, that was not quite the amount of points that I had expected. I thought it was going to get a bit more than that. So now we wait for another nuke. Okay, ABM ready. Anti-ballistic missiles. Enemy fighter. Yeah, it's just patrolling over there. That's fine. As long as it doesn't get too close to me, I don't mind it. Airbase action complete. Dropping another one on Moscow. And now I'm gaining points, and they're starting to lose points. Because their population just got reduced by 9%. Enemy bomber detected. Oh yeah. Well, my fighters would like to have a word with you. Before that thing drops. There's another one coming in. I really hope that I can target these and kill them off before they drop. Because that means they not only lose the bomber, but also the bomb. Lost a fighter there. We're venturing out pretty far over Russian territory right now. But right now, the fighters are doing an admirable job. I want this thing a bit farther back. Yeah, I still have two of those 10 megatons planned. There's the satellite again. Bomber dead. Fighter dead. Alright, suppose that I have another nuke. I'd say Leningrad is the next target. Enemy fighter over there. I can outshoot you and I can outfight you, buddy. Don't test me. There's another one. Structure destroyed. Damn it. Where? Where, where, where? It still doesn't say that. Oh, by the way, I need to be working on over the horizon radars as well, because I have SAM sites with ABM, but nothing to guide them in. I need a guidance system for those missiles. Alright, Leningrad. That was 2 million dead. Their GDP has dropped to 94%, so they still have plenty of capability left. Bomb. Manila. Hold on a moment. 
Uh-huh. Would you know something about that, maybe? Seeing as Manila probably didn't bomb itself. You little shit. You know what? Maybe I can use this airbase to drop one more 10 megaton bomb. The one that I still have in storage or in production and hit Shanghai. Shanghai, Wuhan, Chongjin. Sorry, Chongqing. All these higher value cities. Oh, Hong Kong, for example. Arbin. And Beijing. But before I want to hit Beijing, I first want to have a cruiser here. To start wiping out the SAM sites and the air bases. Because I will get intercepted otherwise. This this time was playing it pretty dangerous. Pretty close there. Next bomb. 10 seconds. But significantly sped up. Uh, let's hit Hong Kong. I know this one is more lethal to them. But I'm also more likely to lose my bomber and my bomb. And that's another two minutes of time. Hong Kong, 3.2 million. They're trying to bomb my area. Thank God for this carrier group. I need you over here yesterday. What's happening here? Oh, there's more bombers coming in. Not for the airbase, though. I wonder what it is that they're trying to hit. Sorry, I pulled you off the line, but you still need to be patrolling. Seems like the AI, mm, well, it might be working on additional production of nuclear warheads. But so far, lately, I haven't really seen any. And I like that. Because probably they were using those missile vehicles that were over here. And those were the ones that I destroyed in the previous episode. Another bomber comes in and immediately gets picked off. Beautiful. Now, this part, or this video, might have a part three. Um, if not, then I will definitely be checking out some of the other additions to this particular game. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. You'd really be helping me out by doing that. Cruiser, two and a half minutes. ASAT, nine minutes. We keep throwing out fighters, and we keep knocking them down. How are we for fighters here? Plenty, I'd say. Well, actually... Not so much. We have lost the fighters from the aircraft carrier. The fighters from this thing... Are okay. But I'm going to rebase a few. To make sure that if the airbase gets hit... That I don't lose too many. Whoops. There. The aircraft carrier has been fixed up. Let's go even more aggressive. There's the satellite again. Have a good look, because it might be one of the last pictures that you get to take. There's the airbase. Cruiser almost done. Perfect. Hello, my dear cruiser. Have I got a job for you? There are so many targets available here. Boom. Airbase gone. Who's next? The other airbase. Dead. Very nice. Now we can have a better look. And see what else China has here. Yep, take on some fuel. Let's bring that huge radar of yours into view. Or rather, use it to get China into view. SAM site. Probably too far away. We're at production still only 13%. We really haven't gotten that far into that. 
Hmm. Okay. Okay, cruiser standing by here. Oh, Jesus! A missile silo. Whoa, where's that going? Your airbase. Okay, that sucks. The missile silo has been hit. Dead. Okay, I'm gonna put you on patrol because I got a real jump scare over there as I was thinking that the cruiser might have been the target. It's not, but it easily could have been. So I got the destroyer patrolling over there, the cruiser and the destroyer. Yeah, I just need to pacify this area a bit more. Now, once ASAT is done, what do I want next? I don't have satellites myself. My radars, I think, are good enough to deal with those things. To deal with information gathering, so I don't really need that. I don't have silos. So it's not like I'm going to go to MERV route, because it's going to take me at least 43 minutes and over an hour if I really want the cluster MERVs. Or sorry, the, the fake warhead MERVs. Mm. ICBMs in 20 minutes. Or I could go for the, f the city busters, the 50s. Yeah, let's queue up that. Over the horizon radar ready to be deployed. Perfect. That can counter a lot of missiles as they're coming to Europe. Research complete. I haven't really spent that much time dealing with any assets in the US because I don't feel that the US is there we go, satellite destroyed. That the US is particularly threatened. Unless there are submarines. That is possible. But right now, they don't have those. Or they're not using them. Haha, <laughs> by Sam's site. <laughs> I don't really see what you can do against a cruiser that's locking you down like this. Maybe, if you really wanted to, you could try and get an airbase and then long-range air-to-surface missiles and try to take it out that way. But it's a stretch and it takes a long time. Now, once this over-the-horizon radar is done, I'm thinking of building another strike group, which will consist of one or two cruisers. No, let's say one cruiser and one destroyer, patrolling here and one here. Maybe backed up by an aircraft carrier, so I have an AWACS platform. Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, aircraft carrier, cruiser, destroyer. Over-the-horizon radar, ready. Do I benefit if I put it over here? Not really. Because I only have one SAM site over there. And I think that it's getting limited assistance. Let's see, do they have an over the horizon radar site? My allies? They don't. Ooh, nice! My allies got ICBMs. Very nice. Alright, there we go. Now it benefits the entirety of the continental US and Canada and Mexico. That's better. Now down here, I don't need to do that much because I think all of these guys are just neutral. I don't believe that they're actively engaged in this war. Alright, let's speed this thing up. Destroyer detected. Oh, and an aircraft carrier, no less. Well, I hope you have some sort of anti-missile defenses, and you don't. Otherwise, you're probably going to find that that aircraft carrier is going to be down at the bottom real soon. Because this cruiser is hungry for more. There's also a destroyer out there. Wait. Are you not dead? No, you're not dead. It might have been maneuvering. Which caused the cruiser to miss. At least I'm still winning the air war, but I think I'm losing some aircraft here and there. 
Six left here, two in the aircraft carrier. I still have fight or uh, attack fighters. I want that aircraft carrier gone. Oh, he's running. Damn it. Chicken. Yeah, they're not coming back. Okay. Oh, maybe you can catch it. Yes. Nice work. Just got into view, just got into range. Missile away, target destroyed. Job done. Well played. Wait, no. You didn't. You missed. Aha. Okay. So be it. Alright, let's speed this thing up. The communists, they have lost a few mo a few points. The USSR and allies, not that much. They have a pretty similar population. Aircraft carrier ready to be deployed. Great, but first I want my cruiser ready as well. Sam site. Nope. Aircraft carrier not found at last known location. But I know where it is. Because I still have that AWACS bird over there. I just can't hit it. Oh, hi. Non-communist aircraft carrier group. Two destroyers and an aircraft carrier. Very nice. You and you spawn in. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> well done. Uh, patrol here. Enemy destroyer detected. Yep, we know of that one. That's the one escorting the aircraft carrier group. Another one? Yeah, it's two of them. Hold up. Do you think you're just gonna barge into that area? Because that's not really what I have in mind. If that carrier group decides to start hitting towards Anchorage and Vancouver, I might need to do something about it. I want you to keep an eye on it. There it is. 37 seconds and I have a cruiser. Um, if I park the cruiser just here and use the AWACS for spotting, I can probably pretty quickly eradicate these things, but they are moving. That makes it a bit more difficult to hit. Oh, you're refueling. Okay. Go on. Go back home. Research complete. Okay, boosted fission weapons are completed. That's really nice. Uh, advanced air-to-air -air missiles. And the destroyer coming up next, and then 50s. They're going to take a while. They're big-ass bombs, but they hurt like hell if you get hit by one of them. City, bu city busters. Come on, AWACS. Refueled and good to go. Destroyer also ready to be deployed? I know, or I want to know how far these things are away. This is the shortwave? Yeah. All right, where is the Kuznetsov? Not where we last saw it, no, duh, it's moving. There you are. Not sure if this is the Kuznetsov or the Minsk or whatever. Uh, yeah, here. Can we missile that thing? Oh, hold up! Hold up, I have a solo aircraft carrier here. That's not really what I was hoping for. I thought the cruiser was going to escort it. Turns out it didn't. Oh, hi. Jesus. Um, panic. Oh, don't shoot me. No. Well, they're not shooting me. Okay, this might have been overkill, but I'd rather have a dead silo than more nukes. Uh, US? Catch. 
Or rather, intercepted before you catch. The city has been bombed. Wait. Oh! Okay. That one got destroyed. How'd they pull that one off? Two nuclear threats detected. Where's the second one? Where'd that come from? Because that must have been a silo or a sub. Because the other stuff... There it is. The other stuff I can deal with. Shit. That has to go right now. Bomb it. Quickly. Structure destroyed. Shit, another airbase. Yeah, that's the one in the US. That's the one with the uh, AWACS. Or rather, where the AWACS was coming from. Oh, that's bad news for my information gathering. Also bad news for their missile silo. Their air bases are still not upgraded. Have they really been spending all this time just building missile silos? They might have. Who knows. Now, Jesus, another one. Yep, missile silo over there. Good luck getting over there. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to sacrifice an aircraft for that. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Good, the cruiser is at it. Yes, we intercepted it. Well done, boys. Well done. Aircraft carrier seems to be holding steady. We better kill this thing fast, because I'm about to lose the AWACS as the airbase has been destroyed. It's almost like they beat that carrier. Congratulations, you're now an airbase. What the hell? Now, I'm thinking, do I just blow up the Russians? Thank you, that's the aircraft carrier gone. Um, do I blow... Oh, shit. That thing got shot down. Do I blow up the Russians or not? I'm thinking yes, but I don't have an asset here. So... The next best thing is Asia. Uh, my dear helicopter, you might want to get Research clear from complete. that town. Because it's about to get pretty dangerous to operate there. Let's go for improved shortwave radar. Better acquisition. This is going to hurt communists. I mean, the USSR and allies are also communists, but the communists are China, pretty much. Twelve million. Now we're getting some destruction in. Okay, we did get the nuclear silo over in Russia. That's good. We got it, we just weren't quite able to take it out before it launched a silo, or before it launched a missile. Uh, this is gonna be an air war. Do we still have small? No. Not in stock. They must be in the carriers. Yeah, this one still has eight small nuclear bombs. But you're probably not in range. No. Well, there is always the non-nuclear option. Attack with as much as you need. And use your fighters to take down any other fighters of theirs. Because my fighters are still more advanced, and they now also have better air-to-air -air weaponry. My bombers, unfortunately, are still pretty fragile. Okay, that's most of the airbase done. Bomber survived. Done. Well done. Next target, this one and that one. Structure destroyed. Shit. Where? I don't know. I'm not sure if there was something over here. 
But at least it isn't anymore. Bomber detected. Where? There. What are you doing over here? Because that's going to be a one-way trip for you. You cannot make it back. Uh-oh. No, Tehran was hit. Relatively minor. Only 140,000 deaths. Could have been worse. Could have been 12 and a half million. Origin, a communist bomber. Oh, so that's where you were going. Gotcha. That was the plan. Okay, this airbase is still en route to take out their airbase. And then... I'm going to escalate and take out another city. Potentially Beijing. 14.9 million people there. Beautiful target. Let's see if this bomber can take it out. Yeah, do it again. Job done. Alright. Uh, this destroyer might want to stay clear for a bit. I'm not sure exactly how large that shockwave is. And I don't want to send in a... Oh, sorry, it's not even a destroyer, it's a cruiser. I don't want to send in a cruiser to find out. Here comes a bomber. And there goes Beijing. Population down to 53%, GDP down to 72 And the bomber got taken care of by a fighter from the aircraft carrier. Well done. All right, uh, we have advanced quite significantly, and this is where I'm going to leave you. If you want to follow up with the next episode as well, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you really like it, then please consider becoming a Patreon supporter. That will help out the channel and myself personally a lot. Even if it's just a two bucks a month, that does help. Now, what can you expect in the next episode? Uh, more death and destruction. I mean, that's the name of the game. I'm surprised that the pollution hasn't really hit 40s or 50s yet. But nevertheless, there is still plenty left to bomb, especially in Russia. Especially over here. But since I don't actually have any air bases, I don't have the assets to deal with them yet. But next episode, I will. So join me next episode, and we're going to bomb Russia and, uh, well, maybe China some more. And put the communists in their right place. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you soon for the next one.